If you've ever been jolted awake by the sharp buzz of an alarm clock, groaned at the sound, and hit the snooze button without even opening your eyes, congratulations! You're part of a long tradition of timekeeping. But have you ever stopped to wonder what's actually going on inside that little box of buzzing frustration? What parts come together to make it tick, and how does it know exactly when to wake you up? Today, we're lifting the cover off one of the most essential and often overlooked inventions in daily life. Stick around as we explore how alarm clocks are assembled and how they work, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the big picture. Whether it's digital, analog, or even a smartphone app, every alarm clock has one basic purpose, to alert you at a specific time. But how that actually happens depends on the design and technology inside. Let's begin with mechanical alarm clocks, the old school wind-up kind that your grandparents might have used. These clocks operate without electricity, Instead, they use a mainspring, a tightly coiled piece of metal, that you wind up manually. As the spring slowly unwinds, it powers a series of gears and escapements that regulate the movement of the hands. The assembly process for a mechanical clock is surprisingly intricate. It begins with the creation of the gear train, a series of small metal gears that reduce the speed of the mainspring's unwinding motion. These gears are cut and shaped with extreme precision, usually by machines. Once manufactured, they're carefully mounted onto a metal frame or base plate, using tiny axles called pivots and held in place with bushings. Next comes the escapement mechanism, which is the heart of any mechanical clock. This part includes a wheel and a lever, sometimes called the anchor which work together to convert the energy from the gears into steady ticking movements. It's what gives the clock that classic tick-tock sound. The escapement ensures that the energy released from the mainspring is controlled and evenly spaced out. Once the timekeeping mechanism is in place, the alarm feature is added. This usually involves a secondary gear train that is attached to the hour hand. When the hour hand reaches the time you've set for the alarm, it engages a lever that releases the energy stored in a separate spring. This triggers a small hammer to rapidly strike a bell, producing the familiar ring, ring, ring that many of us associate with mornings. All these parts, from the gears to the bells, are typically assembled by hand or using fine machinery in a factory setting. Skilled technicians ensure each part is aligned properly and that friction is minimized. It's a delicate dance of mechanics and precision that results in a fully functioning clock. Now, let's move into the modern world of digital alarm clocks, which work in a completely different way. These rely on electricity either from a battery or an outlet, and use electronic circuits to keep time. The core component in a digital clock is usually a quartz crystal oscillator. Quartz has a property called piezoelectricity, meaning it vibrates at a consistent frequency when subjected to an electrical charge. These vibrations, typically 32,768 times per second, are counted by the clock circuitry and used to keep incredibly accurate time. Assembling a digital clock starts with manufacturing the printed circuit board, PCB. This is where all the electronic components are mounted, including the microcontroller, which acts as the brain, capacitors, resistors, and the quartz crystal itself. The microcontroller is pre-programmed to perform specific functions like displaying the time, sounding the alarm, or allowing you to hit snooze. Once the PCB is ready, it's tested and placed into a plastic or metal casing, which is usually injection molded in a separate part of the factory. The display, 
whether it's an LED or LCD screen, is connected to the board, and the buttons or dials that allow you to set the time and alarm are integrated through conductive pads or switches. The alarm function in a digital clock is typically managed through the microcontroller. When the clock detects that the set time matches the current time, it sends a signal to a small speaker or buzzer, producing a sound. In many models, there's also a snooze feature, which works by briefly disabling the alarm and then setting it to go off again after a few minutes. Some advanced clocks include additional features like radios, nature sounds, Bluetooth connectivity, or even lights that simulate sunrise. These components are modular, meaning they're manufactured separately and then integrated into the final clock during assembly. Whether mechanical or digital, one key part of both types of alarm clocks is user input the ability to set the time and choose when the alarm goes off. In mechanical clocks, this is usually done by turning a small knob that adjusts the hands or engages the alarm gear. In digital clocks, this involves pressing buttons that send signals to the microcontroller, which stores the set time in its memory. So what happens when the clock actually goes off? In a mechanical clock, the alarm time causes a spring-loaded hammer to strike a bell until the spring runs out of energy or you turn it off manually. In a digital clock, the microcontroller activates the speaker circuit, producing a buzzing or beeping sound. If it's a more advanced model, it might slowly increase the volume, flash lights, or play a favorite song, all depending on what's been programmed into it. Now, let's talk about power sources. Mechanical clocks are powered purely by the tension in the mainspring. They don't need electricity, which is why they're so valuable in situations where power isn't reliable. Digital clocks, on the other hand, typically rely on batteries or wall outlets. Some include backup batteries, so they don't lose the time settings during a power outage. A small but essential detail if you've ever overslept because the power went out overnight. In the end, the humble alarm clock is more than just a noise machine. It's a compact marvel of design, a tiny combination of mechanics or electronics that manages to keep time accurately and reliably alert us when needed. It's something we interact with nearly every day, often without thinking, yet it plays a vital role in shaping how we live, work, and rest. So the next time your alarm goes off and you're tempted to throw it across the room, maybe take a second to appreciate the clever engineering packed into that small device. From precisely cut gears and quartz crystals to microcontrollers and molded plastics, your alarm clock is a testament to how far we've come in mastering time. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.